with diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life, this wondrous planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidence stressing the grave state of our planet caused by climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today, we present to you Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion on climate change, titled, Eden on Earth Through a Vegetarian Diet, via video conference with our association members in the United Kingdom on June the 12th, 2008. some uh, question <laughs> <laughs> and I can hear it very loud even without the phone <laughs> so maybe you can uh, tell it now to the world <laughs> instead of keeping it in your heart okay the first question master are the recent disasters around the world somehow connected with the billions of animals slaughtered every year for human consumption? Of course it is. Huh? As you sow, so shall you reap. And uh, like attract like. Ne? Scientifically speaking, spiritually speaking, we have been warned. So all the disaster that have happened around the world, of course, are connected with the human unkindness to the co-inhabitants. That was the price we have to pay for what we have done to the innocents who have done us no harm, who are also the children of God, who has been sent to earth to help us and to cheer our days. Because generally, humans also have uh, very good merit before they came to earth. And uh, that's why they became human, because of their good merit. So from their good merit, there have been a give and take and deduction and uh, addition. Otherwise, if things have not been canceling out some of of the bad uh, retribution, then it would have been worse. Or the earth might have been disappeared altogether already. But luckily, the human also do have some good merit, and they have not run out yet. Some of their good merit have not run out yet. And that's why we are still hanging in here. Uh, Master, if the world were to go 100% vegetarian right now, what kind of earth would we live in, and what effect would this have on the world economy? And also, how great would the changes be? And how long would it take uh, to see the effects of these changes uh, in our, on our environment? 
If the world were to go 100% vegetarian right now, the good effect of it will be seen within more or less 60 days. That is eight weeks. Within eight weeks, you will see immediate effect. Of course, you also see immediately, but it's almost immediately, but to see the whole big picture, you can uh, realize it within eight weeks, yeah? Eight short weeks, yes. And uh, what kind of earth would we live in? Could be Eden again. Hmm? <laughs> we will have sudden peace and sudden realization of sameness between all nations, between all humans, and between humans and animals. The realization will dawn upon us. There's no need explanation. People will suddenly understand that we are all equal. We and all co-inhabitants, animals alike, are equal. And people will have respect even for trees and plants. That's wonderful. Thank you, Master. Ah, uh, it is wonderful. And <laughs> <laughs> I really wish that we uh, could have it right now. Things will be more lush for abundance. People will feel happier, even without reasons. They will not know why they feel happy. And food will be enough everywhere. River will run plentiful again. Disaster will cease. Heaven will smile on human. And good wishes will be fulfilled. That is a kind of Eden. Yes. If we are to be vegetarian, all of the human on the planet, that will be the effect. Yeah, that's what we wish to have, hey? Master, is the world doing enough? And uh, are we, as initiators, doing enough to save the planet at this critical time? Well, you have been doing fine. Most of the initiates are doing their best and sincerely, but uh, the world, no. The world, they are doing something, they are trying, but uh, they are not doing uh, fast enough and they are not doing enough. And even something they are doing is uh, often uh, off-tracked, you know. I'm sorry, I have to be blunt. I've been too polite all these years, it don't work. Now the thing is, uh, most often the world is doing things 